I went to a Jewish school in in uh, in Würzburg. Um, the, uh, I went there, and I still have the uh, certificate that I went there. Um, yes, we played with other Jewish children um, in the community, but since it was a Jewish school, uh, you did not have a chance to meet uh, others than Jewish children. You were unaware, I wouldn't say unaware, but you did not have any social interaction with uh, non-Jewish children. I hated school because I was just an average student. But the teachers were uh, very punitive. They, they, um, they did hit me if I didn't remember my multiplication table, and it really left quite a dent on me for the rest of my life. Uh, there was a lot of discipline, which I have never objected to, but it's just that they were too strict, and, um, and they, that, that is very bad for a child because a child can't possibly develop easily. It took me a long time to get over that. But I survived like we all do, and I've learned from it. I think my disciplines were, were started early be in life because the German people, Jews and non-Jews, were great disciplinarians. I do remember it because there was a custom that when the first day when you went in school, you got a big bag with all kinds of goodies in it, that it should be something that you should always remember, and I still remember it this day today. But that was not the time when my formal education, if you want to call it, uh, started. I had started much earlier with Jewish education uh, in terms of reading Hebrew and writing a little bit of Hebrew um, and being part. Since I came from a rabbinic family, there was always something going on pertaining to those matters. We went to school in the garrison on Shabbos. We didn't write and didn't carry. In fact, a lot of times, most of the time, I had a f the son of a friend of my father's, they were together in the army, in the German army, carried for me to the gymnasium. We also had in the afternoon, during the week, religious, uh, 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 religious uh, 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 teachings. One was Hammelburger, who went later, Rabbi Hammelburger, who went later to England. And Shabbos sometimes, we went had a shear, which was private. It was given by Director Stoll, and a lot of, sometimes, by Diane Greenfield, who were later to England. When I had the seminar in Hochberg, Würzburg, and I had a lot of people who were in the Hochberg, and I had a lot of people who were in the Hochberg, and The uh, Würzburg Teacher Seminary was the option that my parents helped me decide for. Um, being becoming a rabbi was at that time not in my in my ken. Um, to be, my parents thought becoming a teacher that is a practical that's a practical goal for me. So I went to, to Würzburg. Uh, the only thing was that the only subjects I took in Würzburg were, were the Jewish subjects, because the, um, most of the students of the Würzburg Seminary were students who had they received the high school education right in that institution. And there were only few who stayed in other German schools till their high school graduation and then transferred. So I was far ahead of everybody else in secular subjects, and I all only had to catch up in Judaica subjects. Kishahayitik war be da kita achronash et shilzem in Avurtsburg. Nich nas pa more shanach nu kulanu ahavnu goi shahayaliba bishvileinu adukma pa ekshalans bishvilaliba betor liberal. Okay. When I was in 
מדי, היינו, דברים כאלה קרו, והם היו הפתעות שאנחנו התארחנו לאט לאט להתרגל להם.